We have an interesting opportunity against Skip to just take Lonely Prince. I think Crafty's good with Celestial Tiger because they both want you to play treasures. So I think that's fine enough for me. Cool. I'll definitely pick up a pair. We're going to lose against Wonderwaddle, so I think I just roll here. There's no way we beat a Wonderwaddle. Okay. It's fine. Take a look for Fannies and Crafties. If we could hit a turn three locked chest into a turn six magic sword. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see. You think Wonderwaddle beats us? I have to imagine they do. Especially a Wonderwaddle that didn't lose their first combat because that just makes it so much more likely. Yeah, Wonderwaddle's insane. What was their treasure? Spinning gold? Disgusting. Okay, but now we get to take a Crafty and a Fanny and a lock another Crafty. So this is just absolutely nuts here. Oh no, did we crash? Okay, good, good, good. Let's Crafty, let's take a look. It's in a book. Noble Steed is really cute. This is so much health. Maybe we do just take Ring of Regen. Okay. I'm in for Ring of Regen. Let's take Crafty now. That's fine. And I'll lock the Fanny. Yeah, Ring on Tiger's fun. I think it will give us the freedom to really, really pursue that 7-drop treasure. That is the hope right now. Um, it's going to give us a lot of health. So it's just going to be a matter of how much health do we actually need, though. Let's roll, try to find something else. I really like Prized Pig. Do we... Here's a play. Cycle the chicken so that way we're 1 and 3 to hit Prized Pig. Let's go for it. Okay. Still fine. I think I'm locking prize pig here actually we're really strong yeah prize pig is one of the best units for us to triple right now i believe because i think we've got a lot of stats on this board yeah six two is good these were all good options like even the baby root pumping up the crafty i think is quite good we didn't really want plus one attack on baby root but a 10 13 that was, that was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always playing around. I'm actually playing around Baby Dragon here more than I'm playing around Earthquake. But we're playing around both. So. Is Dees. Is Dees. Merlin's going to get a Slay, but they're also going to get a nice 7 damage to the face. As we take our rightful throne as Lobby Leader. Let's go Prize Pig Roll for 2-drop Dwarves. That's a 2-drop Dwarf. Play around Earthquake like this. Could also play around Earthquake like this. Can also lock these baby roots. Um, I think I want to find three drops. I think I want to pursue three drops really heavily over the course of the next five turns. This grandmother also undefeated right now. Maybe that's enough that we just do this. could also do this. I don't hate this one as well. Okay, maybe I'll do this one. But I'm not going to lock the baby roots here. I want to find doublies, piggies, princess white. I'm also not locked into dwarves, but dwarves is, I think, pretty good on tiger in general. And we'll potentially pivot once we see what our tier 7 treasure is. Uh, it's not about them seeing play. It's just about trying to find locked chest. That's like the only consideration here. But it is one of the only things that we're trying to do at this point in the game is try to get locked chest and try to get additional cash with our um, pig. Uh, I will take a three drop dwarf and a free roll. Don't want a two, two drop dwarf though. 
At least not until we've got white. We can sell Minotaur for a three right here. We don't hit a three. We can sell Minotaur for a two drop dwarf now. And we hit a three drop dwarf. Well, I do think this is worth picking up. Uh, so we sell Minotaur and then either Crafty or Tiny. Basically just trying to make additional plays for Econ using our health as a resource to get more Econ into the next few turns. Which I think is worth doing. Yeah, definitely not the best shops here, but... We have a bunch of health. We are in first place, despite losing to the undefeated Wonder Waddle, but that was our only loss. We lost to undefeated Wonder Waddle. Geppetto could certainly, certainly be very strong here. Um, but if we take like five damage and we get a bunch of gold from this, I'm happy with that. Double Black Cat with a Wicked Witch Geppetto. Decently strong. Decently strong. We are going to lose this combat and lose our prized pig, which is also annoying, but... Oh, and we give them an extra XP. So Ryan the Geppetto got a lot out of that one, but we get Princess White now. That's cool. We also get a free mummy. Do I want to Mask Ball first? Well... Not really. don't even know if I want a Mask Ball right now. I like Sporko for its ability to work well with... It works well with the Mummy, too. Alright, yeah, let's actually just take Sporko. It's uh, quite strong here. I like the Greedy, but I also like Rolling. Maybe I just put in Lucky... I like this free roll. What would we be... I mean, I, I'm really setting myself up for Tweedle. But I also want to purchase three drops, so I'm not going to lock for Greedy. I will lock for Doubly, though, and pick up the Greedy in doing so. There's also a pair of Sleeping Princesses, but I think that that is too expensive. I think I want to spend my cash on Dwarves, though. I guess if one of the Sleeping Princesses gets discounted... Do we buy the other one? Because we're going to have two discounted units in this shop. Losing Fanny's a little bit annoying, but maybe Mummy can carry? No, we're going to take some damage on this one. Go doubly. All right, we go down to 26, but what gets the discount? It is the Ro Robashk. Thank you very much for the follow. It is indeed the Sleeping Princess. Let's... I'm off it. I don't want it. Okay, another Fanny is quite good. Interesting. Well, let's sell this pig, I think. We have one more turn of being level four. I think a crafty is good, but I mean, what do we sell? We're selling Wretched Mummy for it. Not my favorite. Hmm. I think I'd rather just focus on the threes. I'll pick up a, a Fanny. But I don't think I lock for a crafty. I'd probably sell for a fanny. Especially a fanny triple. Do definitely want to find some more treasures so that our crafty starts to scale because crafty's falling off a little bit right now. And all of our opponents are also playing dwarves, which I think is adding a little bit to our inability to find them. But we are going to get some nice greedy gold this turn. We got two greedy gold triggers and... Omo 
almost get the win. Unfortunately, we're going to fall just short, but still gaining two health a turn. Like, we can, we can be a little bit greedier even. We're still at 23. 24. Thank you for the correction there. Uh, let's grab a greedy. Dwarven Forge is still a big player. Let's not grab a Sporko. Fortunately, very awkward if we roll into Tweedle right now. As is Crafty. I just can't take this Crafty. All right, Lucky, awesome. This gives us a doubled up tier three, and that gives us the treasure map. So now all we have to do is buy two more Dwarves, and we get a tier seven treasure. We don't want to buy a Fanny, though, right now. Fanny is off the menu. Um, think about some alternate spacing here. Like, how is this? Is this interesting? Is this good? We're up against the Wonder Waddle, so we do need to play our best board. Though, I'm not convinced a 7-5 is better than a 5-9. I think this is fine. We just need to not... This is still an undefeated Wonder Waddle. So this is a super high rolling Wonder Waddle. They just had the Unicorn, but they've also had a Spinning Gold since 2.2. So they are probably half off work at this point. No, they are ball Spinning Gold trees. Okay. Okay. I mean... Falling Stars, they gave us some gold. Um, we're not winning this combat, but my opponent gave us some gold, so I'll take it. Um, we're going to give them another Falling Stars here, and then can we do a little bit more damage with Sporko? Unfortunately, we can't. We do take 14 from the Wonder Waddle. We knew that one was going to hurt, though. Let's pick up two Dwarves here, though, as we go back up to 12. Um... Sure, Greedy gives us a Tier 7 treasure, but it's fine. Then Princess White can find another Tier 3. So let's see what this gives us. Is this, if this gives us a Magic Sword... Yeah, we have to take Magic Sword. And now we desperately need Tweedledee. Where is the Tweedledee? I'm going to roll down for Tweedle because it's so important. Oh, I didn't pick up that chicken. That was weird. Um... So Fanny's kind of interesting here. It gives us the Fanny. Then it's going to give us the Rune Stones into... I think we just skip this because we're going to get a Tier 3. But if we Rune Stones, then we get a Tier 5. Okay, let's Rune Stones into a Tier 5. And now I think we take Monkey's Paw. No, let's go Hand of Midas. Okay, these are bigger now. Now, next turn, we're rolling down, full roll down for Tweedle. A Midas Tweedle will be a ton of stats. And I think we've got enough stats here to not die. Right? Yeah, yeah, we don't die here. We take a bunch of damage here. We take nine. Yeah, my, uh, that would be good, but so is a Tweedledee. Upgraded Tweedledee with Magic Sword is going to potentially allow us to even beat this Wonder Waddle. Now we just need XP to find Lordies. And then, yeah, if we were able to just barely win, I mean, that was that was definitely the goal there. Um, what do we even need out of Tier 2 and Tier 3 treasures at this point? Really not much. I'm not picking up Fanny at this point. True Love's Kiss has some interesting implications. I just want XP, though, like I keep saying. Don't hate Greedy for the chance to potentially get... Dwarven Forge. No, let's let's find XP. It's so important this turn. Okay, this is actually quite good too, just as an additional unit to play. <laughs> uh, I'll take Hi Ho. Sure, why not? I don't cast Hi Ho nearly enough that I might as well. 
Um, okay, this is cute. Oh, 100%. Ring of Regen saved us a bunch. What were our other options, though, out of curiosity? Piggy Bank? Piggy Bank would have just changed this whole game, you know? Um... It would have it would have meant that we play a little bit different, and um, I it wasn't boots. It wasn't boots. It was definitely piggy bank. Boots was on that second one. Maybe it could have been boots. It could have been boots. But I know piggy bank was an option, and if we take piggy bank, like sure, we don't have as much health, but we would have had a ton more gold. So uh, definitely an interesting proposition at the very least. Yeah, not not sure on that one. Um, because it wasn't it wasn't up for consideration. Maybe it was boots, because it just straight up was not up for consideration. All right. Would still take XP right now. Would also take Tweedles. I'm not interested in angries. All right. I will take falling stars, actually. It's gonna give us a lot of cash to find the doubly, because I'll take greedies along with this too. So next turn, we do the old roll down for some lordies. And I'm feeling quite strong now. We're going to have a ton of cash next turn. As long as we don't get scammed by a Medusa. Getting scammed by a Medusa is the one way that things go south. And then we just have to worry about Wonder Waddle, who is... Looking to build trees and honestly not that strong yet. They might still try to fish out a hat ball scenario with wizards familiars. But for right now, we're looking good. And we definitely beat this board. Jormungand's tough, actually. Let's not sell Jormungand short. But just a Jormungand is not going to be enough. And we're going to walk away from this one with some nice caches. Wonderwaddle 6. No, Wonder Waddle's level 5. The only 6 is Geppetto, who we are about to deal some nice damage to. Is this a kill on Geppetto? No, it's not. I needed one more 3. It was just eyeball on that one. All right. And we immediately, immediately get an insane reward here. Let's be as strong as we can against the Wonder Waddle. And let's roll now for Echo Wood. And for more Lordy. Sure. I could see taking Sea Terrors, but an Echo Wood is really, really good. Love that. I'm going to play all the Tweedles. That is just the most stats. And now I'd love a doubly, giving us a doubled Dwarven Mind. No, okay, I'll take this. I'll take this too. This also seems quite good. Okay, and this can give us a Dwarven Forge. It can give us Horn of Olympus. Reduplicator works. Reduplicator does work. Okay. Um, it's a little bit weird, but Horn is not going to get played for that much longer anyways, so... Let's just take the one that gives us the most stats for the current combat. And Wonder Waddle is finally going to taste blood. That is where the Reduplicator really works. If we um, get one of our other units attacked first and just get to create a 42-200, that's a little bit better than okay. That's a little bit better than okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't hit them for insane amount of damages here, but... We deal 10 damage to an undefeated player. Not sweating that. Not upset with that one at all. Cut Fanny now. Look for another Echo or another Lordy or another Doublet. Cool, cool. Another Lordy. So we can sell three to get this Lordy in this turn. That definitely seems worth it. And the three that we're going to sell are Grady, Crafty, Fanny... Hang on to Princess White, I believe. But I do want to think about this. 
So we still have a, a doubly on the bench for if we triple any of our other units. If we triple two units, then I do kind of want another dwarf. So maybe now's the time to sell white so that I can hang on to... Though maybe Greedy's actually good enough here. Okay, I'm going to hang on to Greedy. Is this Greedy? I know it's Greedy, but let me know if this is Greedy. Should I just be playing a doubly in instead of this Greedy? Let's greet it. Let's greet it. I think with Tweedledee, Magic Sword, Echo Wood, Reduplicator, I think we're doing fine. I think we're doing totally fine here. So the other way that this Reduplicator does something really interesting is if this Tweedledee summons back into this spot. But unfortunately, we're not going to get this Tweedle reduplicated. Oh, wait, but we get this one, just like I was saying. So if this gets attacked by a ranged unit, ah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, yeah, I think that the cash is worth it. I think that we just got two gold from this for free. That's definitely going to work for us. All right, now both of our opponents have seen what we're up to as well. So they might try to put in some scam. We see the monster book here now. I imagine we're going to start to see Medusa's. It's Falling Stars for a little bit more econ on the next And roll down for Echoes and Lordies and Doublies. Did not quite get there. We could dream. If we dream into Midas, that is kind of insane. We're not using Echo Wood at this point in the game. What else could we dream into? Morgana gets us a tier 6 treasure. Midas gives us an upgrade on Doubly and Echo Wood and Lordy. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't really like Boots on Tiger in general. Um I mean it's fine. Boots like we crack our boots allow us to crack our Tweedle, which pumps up all of our Echo Woods, which plays around other kinds of scams. Uh, but certainly not necessary. The ghost is also given out piggy gold. So thank you, Ryan, for that from Beyond the Grave. And we get a little bit more lordy gold here as well, or uh, greedy gold. All right. Midas, Morg. What else do we have? Headless? Oh, Fates is quite good. Okay. Fates and Grandmother were both really, really good hits as well. Rolling down, don't want to see Tiger. I want Phoenix Feather. Do we sell now? Okay, we don't. And we can't sell for this. So, we're just locking this. Um... Yeah, there, there's there's uh, definitely a little bit of a diminishing returns on Tweedle. We are playing against the Wonder Waddle, though, so it is a good reminder to let's get a little bit stronger right now. Um, yeah, I am going to buy a unit. I'm just um, thinking about everything here. All right. Just thinking about what this means for the rest of the game. We could also play down a doubly? Oh, I need to think about that more. We could play down a unit with this reduplicator. It's actually quite, quite good. That puts a bunch of stats. Okay, it doesn't matter. We could also just high roll and get... Because that's an additional 300 health on both of the Echo Woods, right? Like, it's a huge amount of stats. I know you want more Dwarves of Lordy. Um, also, doesn't matter. We're kicking this guy's butt regardless here but it's at least worth considering sometimes i just like to holy moly wow 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 all right well ring of regen has done us so well i'm definitely taking phoenix feather here that was what i asked for 
though it does only pump up the, uh, or no, maybe it does pump up the Echo Woods. If you want builds like this, you gotta, you gotta go all in for it. I mean, I'm definitely going Phoenix Feather, and I guess I'll toss the Ring of Regen. There's a part of me that wants to hang on to it because it has been so good for us. Yeah, now how does playing down a unit look? Now we Tweedledee summon and reduplicate and do all of this crazy stuff. But with uh, two Lordies, now it makes even more sense to just play the full Monty. I'm just going to pretend Reduplicator doesn't exist and maybe we Phoenix Feather and Echo Wood if we get enough other stats here. Um, if we can triple this Echo Wood, the Phoenix Feather goes on that and we can replace Reduplicator with uh, something else. Um, but let's not get too silly and open ourselves up to Pigomorph in slot one because that is really the only way I see us losing. Nah, I mean, I it would be really sweet and gives us a bunch more stats, but the only way that we lose from here is a Pigomorph on our slot one Tweedle. So if you want to maximize your chances here, you just say, no thank you, no Scamorino, let's win. And this is going to be a kill onto Sharon, and we need a little, little, little bit more to get a kill onto Wonderwaddle because that was 13 damage. So we need to find a way to get a little bit more damages here. Passing by the free roll. I think I'll take this one, though. Okay. Doom Breath. Doom Breath in slot one. That's also a good one. Um, way too late for something like that, though. Uh, just rolling for Echo Wood here. Can still find it. Oh, can also find a doubly right now. Can't find an Echo Wood here, unfortunately. But we are going to have it for the last combat of the game, so that's pretty sweet. So Echo Wood is going to make this board go insane, because uh, then we get to play both of the doublies as well. And that is just a ton of stats. And... Um, Don't think this Wonder Waddle's got too much of a shot, but we'll see what types of scams. By combining our Echo Woods, we do open ourselves up, up to scam like a little bit, but we also get a treasure from that. So, I don't know, seems good. Now the Echo Woods are onto the Phoenix Feather as well. Um, I thought that was the case, but um, wasn't 100% wasn't sure, wasn't 100% paying attention. Uh, but the Echo Woods are going to be what Phoenix Feathers, if they're ever able to take one down, I don't imagine that's going to be the case. Uh, also, Wonder Waddle transformed into Loki with Crystal Ball Mimic. Oh, they've got Mimic Phoenix Feather. I guess they already used it. 11 damage to them, and now we don't even have to worry about their scam because they're Loki. Let's grab this. I like all of these things, unfortunately. This is a toughie. I mean, this has some insane high roll potential. Whew. Okay. Well, I was about to do some insane high roll potential. There was an Echo Wood in the shop. We could have bought that coin to give us enough to cast that Echo Wood, and then I could have rolled again and done even more, but I don't fault my opponent 100% win rate. They would have had to find a lot, a lot to get out of this one because we really did it and it was all thanks to that Ring of Regen. That was a really clutch Ring of Regen into Magic Sword on Celestial Tiger. Really sweet one. I think that is going to be it for me today. I'm going to go edit some YouTube videos. Speaking of which, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can catch me live at twitch.tv slash nolixgiven. And if you're watching on Twitch, I post two YouTube videos every single day, every 12 hours at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. So thank you very much for watching. Yeah, that was a very sweet ring game. Uh, definitely saved me a bunch, especially getting it so early. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching.